top battle. This is a physical sport. Look at the limited visibility and watch your head being shanked around. Imagine going on a race like Formula One or MotoGP, but using motorboat as the vehicle on the water. Sounds fascinating? Introducing you to the F1 Powerboat World Championship, where one tiny error could result in high-speed disaster. The Formula One Powerboat World Championship, or F1 H2O, is the world's largest motorboat racing competition that was inaugurated in 1981. It is a water sport competition on par with Formula One or MotoGP that is held on a lake, river, or offshore bay. To give you a better understanding, it is like driving the F1 race car at full speed over a plowed field. The vehicle itself measures approximately 5.2 meters long, 2.2 meters wide, and weighs 524 kilograms, including the rider. And don't ever underestimate the boat. In addition to that, it can also accelerate from 0 to 160 km per hour in 3.5 seconds and has the capability of going around 180 degree corner at over 160 km per hour, making them the hardest turning race vehicle in the world. That's why F1 Powerboat is claimed as the most spectacular water sport ever in the world. It is thrilling, risky, daring, and entertaining. It defies the law of gravity with its high-speed maneuver. With various challenges on the circuit, 20 riders will participate in each match that lasts for 45 minutes. Automobile racing may seem scarier, but imagine driving a motorboat at 160 km per hour where the wind would close your nostrils, flatten your face, and blur your vision. If you hit a wave, heavy chop, or large driftwood, you could crash into the water, get flipped over, or even flying and spiraling at once. That's why these racers require more than just skills and talent to compete, but also courage. For example, Guido Capellini was claimed as the best and most successful boat racer in history. The Italian racer broke the world speed record with 256.20 km per hour. Meanwhile, Sean Torrente from the Abu Dhabi team is a world champion that has won the F1 H2O three times in 2018, 2019, and 2022. He is more than ready to hold his title in 2023 F1 H2O. This year's F1 Powerboat is very special because not only it is the first ever world-class race held in Lake Toba, Indonesia, but it is also claimed as the most unique circuit ever in the world because it follows the natural shape of a volcanic lake. After hosting world-class race in the previous year, such as the 2022 Formula E Grand Prix, Indonesia is ready to captivate the world by showing off the beauty of Lake Toba in the F1 H2O on February the 24th to 26th. With a circuit that spans 2.2 kilometers, the government believes that Lake Toba will pamper participants with its cool weather and stunning mountain view. This would give a change of air for participants as well, 
as the previous 2022 F1 H2O was held in an artificial lake in Sharjah, United Arab Emirates, that is known for its hot weather. Not to mention that the race rarely took place in Southeast Asia, as Portugal, France, China, and United Arab Emirates were few countries that hosted the race during previous years. It was predicted that more than 25,000 domestic and foreign tourists will come to the 2023 F1 H2O in Lake Toba. The government has also predicted that the race will generate around 212 billion rupiah or $13.8 million in profit from tourism and creative economy sectors. Not only that, Lake Toba has also gained the trust of a five-year contract to organize the race until 2027. Hopefully, with the success of F1 H2O, this exposure can encourage Lake Toba to become Indonesia's super priority tourism destination in the long run. So, what are you waiting for? Let's become a part of this world-class thrilling adventure by supporting this year's F1 Powerboat in Lake Toba, Indonesia. Adelia Dinda and Dipta Dewiguna for see you today.